MailChimp Beginner's Guide. Now, this video is going to be a complete tutorial. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about MailChimp, including how this platform works, the pricing, and absolutely everything like that. So, if you are interested in learning more about MailChimp, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, guys, so as we can see here, it says grow your audience and your revenue. Uh, win over new and repeat customers by sending email automations. So basically guys, if you don't know what this is, this is an email automation platform. And in my opinion, it is one of the best on the market. And we can see a few of the benefits that they talk about down here, like sell more with email automations. So you can completely automate your email. So for example, it says here, if this <laughs> little unicorn duck thing was left in their cart, wait one hour and then they get a reminder email that you can set up completely in the app. Now I will show you how to do that in this video so don't worry. We also have this win repeat business with predictive se uh, segmentation so you can find and target your most valuable customers to help get them to buy again. Marketers have seen on average a 76% increase in revenue when using their customer lifetime value and likelihood purchase segments compared to when they don't. Now on top of this you can design some very nice emails like if we if we just look guys how 90% of emails are sent like marketing emails are pretty boring right? But well, then I recently got this one off Salesforce and look at this, it just looks so much better, doesn't it? And we can create these type of emails with MailChimp, which is super, super handy. So guys, with that being said, let's first of all jump into the pricing right here. And there is a few options down here that you can go with. And if you want to get access to this free plan, guys, you can do so using the link down in the description. Uh, just go ahead and click on that link. Uh, that will take you over to MailChimp and then you will be able to go up and sign up for the free plan. Now, this is the one that I would recommend, guys. Like if you are starting out, then I 100% recommend the free plan. Now, later down the line, once you start collecting emails for your list, once you start sending emails out, and you are already making money from your list, you might choose to upgrade to one of these more premium plans. However, uh, keep in mind that, as I said, the free plan is fantastic for beginners. This is also with a contact size of 500 contacts. We have the essentials for $11 a month, standard for $17 a month, and then premium for $299 a month. Now we can boost this up and we go for 1,500. So if you have 1,500 contacts guys the free plan is no longer going to be available which i mean re realistically guys if you have over 500 people on your email list and you're not making any money you are seriously seriously doing something wrong but anyway we can see with 1500 this goes up quite a lot and from here it, it just keeps going up every time we get a few thousand more contacts now th this does look like steep raises like look at this guys 10,000 is 87 dollars to 20,189 but like the amount of money that you can make from an email list this size paying for an email software should be the least of your problems because you'll be making a lot of money with email lists this size now we can boost this up to the maximum and okay so they don't actually allow that you have to go to the premium but we can see 200,000 you're going to pay quite a ridiculous amount but guys it really depends on how big your list is for how much you will pay now let me go ahead and jump into the actual platform show you how this works and you can already see a beautiful email that i tested out on this account but let me go ahead and explain this so guys this is the dashboard that you will see when you first load up mailchimp now if you have a brand new account and you haven't sent any emails yet uh, yours might look a little bit different from this like you of course won't have this campaign but you will pretty much see a blank screen but that is my most recent marketing campaign so i'm just going to leave that for now so what we can do is we can click on audience right here and this is basically where you can see how many people were added to your audience in the last 30 days a message inbox so any messages that you have back you can see at the top how many people you have on your email list you can see your engagement and top locations and some of the awesome things like that now you can also click down here and see your email list now <laughs> i'm gonna have to blur this at the bottom to not give away any details but you will be able to see your audience your contacts you can add new emails into here this section isn't really helpful if you have like a sales funnel where you are capturing emails but that, that is the thing that is there then we can move down to campaigns and this is where you will be able to see all of the campaigns that you have created so if i click into this one you will see that i have already created this email uh, let's have a look what this is is this the one with the dog yes it is so it says hello world look at this dog 
I am cool, yes, and <laughs> this is just a test email of I made. Of course, I didn't actually send this out. Although, to be honest, if I received this email from a company, I think I would be very tempted to buy the product. We can then take a look at the automations, but yeah, I will show you this later in the video. But for now, guys, let's go up and actually create one of these emails. So you can choose, do you want to create an email, a landing page, or an embed form? So I'm just going to go here for an email, and let's go through and create this. So you can choose the recipient, whoopsie, you can choose the recipient here. Uh, so you may have multiple email lists. Like at one point I remember having three. If you don't just have one, you'll have a few options down here that you can select from. And then right here, we can go into the subject and choose what the subject line is going to be. So I'm just going to call this subscribe, helped, add this as the subject line and then save. And then we can go through and add in the content right here. And this is basically where we can create the email. So this is the standard template that we are given. Uh, you can add your logo in at the top, or if not, you can just completely delete this. So we can say up here, um, I guess we can make this Star Wars themed and say, may the fourth be with you. By the way, guys, it's not May the 4th. It is currently uh, September the 3rd. <laughs> so we can basically add that and say like Darth Vader will twerk when you buy from us. And then we can maybe add a picture of Darth Vader in here. Now this is absolutely fantastic. So we can add this image in here. So guys, you basically would want to go through and create your sales email. Like hopefully yours will look nothing like this. This would be horrendous as a sales email, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. Now, an important part is we, we can actually link this button. So we can say like shop uh, now, and depending on where this leads, like you might have a sales funnel after this, you might be taking them over to a website, but we can add the link in here. So if I just go to, over to YouTube and basically create this link to go to YouTube, what this means is whenever somebody hits this button right here, they will be taken over to YouTube. At the bottom, guys, you can choose to add your social links. Now, personally, a little bit of copywriting tips for you here, guys. Just delete this. Like, the, the least, like, the less things that you have people to click on and get distracted by, the better. Like, you don't want people clicking to your social media. You want them clicking over to here so they can actually buy. Now, once that email is written, and you're happy with how this looks. Uh, you can also get rid of this, by the way, once you are on the more premium plans. Uh, but we can click on continue. And that is basically right there. The email is created. Now, if I wanted to send this out, guys, I would just be able to click send up here. But as it says, uh, I'm basically over the limit for the free plan. So I can't actually send this. So I'll just save this to later. And now we have that. Now we have the, the email uh, saved in. I can show you how to use the automations feature. Uh, so if we just go get started, we can see that we are taken over to this area. So this is basically the sales process or the email process, I should say, so far. So the contact signs up to my email list, then create an email for email one. Now, I don't want to spam them straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, a time delay and I'm going to set this for 24 hours. So 24 hours after they sign up, they are going to get email one. So what I can do is click into here and you can take a look at the email. If you don't like this, guys, you can simply go in here and completely recreate this. So the subject is welcome to our family. Uh, preview checks. <laughs> thank you for signing up. And once again, you can just go through, guys, as I showed you, create one of these emails right here. Uh, using all of these templates, you can use themes, which look very, very cool to create your emails. Now, if we just go ahead and click into this, guys, I'm not going to show you how to completely create this email because uh, I already showed you that. But just in a little bit more detail, uh, you can basically change any of these things right here. So you can change the text. Uh, whoopsie, save and close. We can add in a bunch of different things like social media, which I said I didn't recommend. Uh, you can add code, video. You can change up the style and all of that good stuff. So if we go back out here, that is going to be email number one. And you can see that that is now green, which means that we have edited this and this is ready to go. And then we wait for, I'm going to make this once again, a one day delay, another 24 hours, then send email two and then email three. And then this right here is where things get a little bit complicated, but let me explain anyway, guys. So if after this, and I'm just going to change this to a one day delay again. So let me go to the top and explain this whole sales funnel as it will make it easier. So the contact signed up, and then after one day, they get sent email one. After another day, they then get sent email two. And then after one more day, they come to this area. So what this means is it says campaign activity. If they clicked welcome email, which is this top email, basically, did they click this? 
If they did, add them to high engagement. And if they don't, see if they opened this second email. Now, if they did open the second email, add to medium engagement. And if they didn't, add to no engagement. Now, this is super, super important. And although this can be a little bit like tricky, and a little bit confusing for a beginner. The reason this is super important and the reason I'm putting so much emphasis on this is because this like does list hygiene and this really can clean up your list. So you can see who is opening your emails really well, who is sometimes opening your emails and who is not really opening your emails. Because especially with the people who are not opening your emails, they're going to hurt your domain score. So if you have a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of people who aren't opening your emails, you actually might end up hitting spam with your emails so nobody can see them. Uh, and on top of this, guys, if you have people who are never, ever opening your emails, you might as well just remove them from the list because there's no point in paying a bunch of money for people who aren't opening your emails anyway. So that is why this is so important. And then you can basically just go down, guys, and add new sections. So add to high engagement. And once they are on high engagement, we just go ahead and send them another email and go through and do this all over again. So that is how the automation sections work. Now you can also create a website on MailChimp. Uh, now th these websites are okay. I cer certainly wouldn't say that it's the best website builder in the world. Uh, the main use case for this is an email autoresponder, uh, which I'm guessing that is what you guys are going to be using this for. However, I will just give you a quick rundown of the website. Very standard right here. Uh, you just go in and edit this. Uh, you can add buttons. So you just could say like shop now. I mean, it, it, they do make a pretty nice template that you can go through and edit. Now you can add new pages. So we can go through and add a new page. Uh, add like an about me page and that will be added to the website. Um, but that is the website builder right there. As I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail as that's not really the main use case of this. This design studio or creative or content studio, I should say, this is very, very handy. So what we can do is you can basically, by clicking import my brand, you represent a warrant that you have, la la la. So what you would do is you would paste your current URL in here, click import my brand, and they will create like a bunch of infographics and things that you can use for your website. And as it says, basically a bunch of creatives. Now, finally, we come down to integrations, and this is super handy to like connect up all of the things you might want to add to your store. So you can connect up like Zapier, and a bunch of other tools, so we can see we can connect Zapier, Instagram Content Blocker, Google Analytics, Squarespace, Stripe, WordPress, Salesforce. You can see that there is so many that you can add. So for example, if you wanted to connect up Squarespace, you would go into here, connect now, and then you will be able to log into your Squarespace website and integrate both of these websites together. Now you can do this for any of these on this list, and it is very, very handy. I really, really like this feature. And that is the integration. So guys, that was a quick beginner's guide to MailChimp. Now, if you learned something from this video or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.